am doing my nighttime skincare routine. I just got out of the shower and I wasn't going to film this, but I just figured I would run you guys really quickly through. Tonight, I am just using the Laneige Foaming Moisturizer Cleanser. I use that in the shower with, um, I can't think of the name of it. It's kind of like a Clarisonic, but since Clarisonic is no longer a thing, it's another like tool to exfoliate. I have a link down below or I'll put it here on the screen, but um, I use that with the Laneige Foaming Cleanser and then I use this as my toner. This has been one of my favorite toners um, for maybe about a year or so now and I think it really works well. And even though it is an AHA, it's not super aggressive. So I use this as my toner. I then follow up with my all-time favorite, May Coop Raw Sauce. This is an essence. I have been using this for maybe three or four years now. And I don't know if they're like discontinuing it, but it used to be sold at Sephora years ago and then they stopped carrying it. And it's a little challenging to get it. You kind of have to do some researching. Not really sure why, but anyways, this is my all-time favorite. I use an essence in the day and the night. And as you can kind of tell, it's thick like it's not a super watery essence i do not like super watery essences i have dry skin so i need something a little richer and this is amazing and also compared to a lot of like the super popular essences that are on the market this is super affordable it's only 35 dollars, and i'm comparing that to um like the lemire essence which is i mean easily i think like a hundred dollars maybe for the smaller size bottle and i have tried that and i don't honestly care for it so i just put a little bit of this on and while my skin is still damp i will then go in with my sunday riley ceo vitamin c brightening serum this is amazing i am not using this every night considering that i did just get that peel a couple of weeks ago i don't want to over um do like the acids and the vitamin c because they can definitely be irritating if you're not careful about it so only using a little bit of that and then luna sleeping night oil this is a retinol oil this is also not something i use every night i might use this twice a week just depending on how my skin feels but I definitely do love incorporating some sort of like retinol in my nighttime skincare routine a couple of nights a week so going in with this and then finally everyone's favorite cult favorite the good jeans practically empty at this point um so gonna just pump out a little bit of this this is also something again I cannot use probably more than once because I'm also using other products that have a lot of active ingredients in it so this is going to be the one night this week that I use it and it is just amazing. If you have never heard of this particular product or even Sunday Riley, her products are pricey, not gonna lie. They are definitely splurges and investments, but they work really, really, really well. Trust me when I say I wouldn't spend the money on it if it did not work. So going in with this and then I had just put on my eye cream, which is nothing super important. I have um, a Kiehl's one and then I also have a Trader Joe one. So I put a little bit of both on and that is going to be the nighttime routine. I'm about to put these quiche in the oven and I just quickly wanted to share with you guys what I'm putting in it. I have spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, feta cheese, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, sauteed onion, eggs obviously. You could also more than likely do egg whites. I've thought about it but I just haven't picked up just egg white alone so just regular eggs. I have about five eggs in each um, pie crust. I also really love the Marie Callender pie crust because they are super buttery and very flaky. I have tried other brands and they are not good at all. So if you can get your hands specifically on the Maria Callender or Marie Callender pie crust, I highly recommend it. I'm going to bake them on 350 for give or take 50, 52, maybe 55 minutes, just depending on how they cook. I will show you guys the end result when they come out. All right, you guys, just pulled my quiche out of the oven and I definitely almost burnt them fooling around. 
doing some other cooking. Um, but yeah, I pulled them out right in the nick of time. So going to let these cool. And then I will have these with a salad later on. Very much so looking forward to it. But I am also about to put in the oven some whole wheat, apple, cinnamon, and allspice muffins. And then I just have these little mini loaf pans because it was too much. But this is what almost caused me to burn my quiche. But looking forward to this, you guys, I have been on a huge quiche and like bread kick and it is not necessarily the best. The quiche is okay, but I definitely got to chill with the bread. But anyways, you only live once, so happy eating. Hey guys, so I'm about to make one of my favorite like styles or types of salad. I usually make this in the like summertime just because I feel like it's a really nice summer salad, but I was in the mood for it. So I just thought I would quickly share with you guys what it is. If you follow me on Instagram and have been for a while, then you've definitely seen me probably post this on my feed or um, in my stories at some point. But anyways, I'm about to roast some chickpeas. You don't have to do this, but I just like the flavor of roasted chickpeas. I am about to season these up with just these few seasonings, some onion powder, this Grillmates Smokehouse Maple. That is probably one of my all-time favorite seasonings. I use that on pretty much everything and then a little bit of onion salt and then I will also spray a little bit of coconut oil spray on there. I have the oven at 390. I will probably cook them for give or take maybe 20 to 30 minutes. We'll see. I'm really not trying to cook them. I just want them to be warm so when I assemble the salad it's a little bit warm. Also something to note, um, I have parchment paper under here but I am wiping off the chickpeas so they get as dry as possible. This does help to get them a little bit crispier but just note that if they are wet or too damp they're going to steam as opposed to roast. So try to just get these as dry as possible hence why I have paper towel um, under them and then I put one on top and kind of roll it around. This is some things that I had on hand. Some of these things I think I grabbed yesterday or a couple days ago um, from Trader Joe's. So I'm just going to put in some sun-dried tomatoes. I used this mix with a different salad last night. So I'm just going to chop this up and throw that in. Probably peel and cut half of this cucumber. Add some feta cheese. Cut up a few um, heirloom tomatoes. I already showed you guys the chickpeas. And then over on the stove, I have a pot of quinoa that is cooking just with water and um, a little bit of better than bouillon paste just for some added flavor. And all I'm going to do is throw it all in a bowl and you can put over whatever dressing you want. I'll probably do a little bit of salt and pepper, but other than that, you can put on whatever dressing, whatever seasoning, however you want. So I'm gonna let this cook and then I will show you everything once it is done. So I just finished cutting up my vegetables and I forgot to add that I am going to also toss in one Granny Smith apple and then also half of, I think it was a Washington apple. Peeled that, cubed it up, also peeled and de-seeded a cucumber. I definitely recommend taking the time to de-seed it because if you do leave in the seeds, um, it will kind of make your salad a little bit mushy as you kind of have it for a day or two. That is something that I have not done before and it definitely makes a difference. As you can see, everything is in here and it is so bomb. Um, so again, we have the apples, the cabbage mix, the chickpeas, quinoa, sun-dried tomatoes, cucumber, um, what else? 
think that's it in this bowl. And then over here, I just added in my grape tomatoes as well as some feta cheese. I seasoned it with salt and pepper. You can do whatever you want. And then for my dressing, I'm just going to do, or something like a dressing, I'm just gonna do some balsamic vinegar and some fresh lemon. And then I will probably have a little bit of butternut squash soup. This will probably last tomorrow for lunch, tomorrow for dinner, and then maybe a little bit for lunch the next day. I don't recommend keeping it after two days. That's just me, but obviously, girl, you can do whatever you want. So anyways, I'm going to enjoy this. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. welcome back to another vlog it is like halfway through this vlog and i am just now giving you guys an intro but welcome to another vlog i hope you are well as you can see i'm in the car i just got my hair done and i think it is really cute about to run errands per usual i feel like i'm always running errands but there's always things to do and i just wanted to hop in and say hello i hope you guys are well and enjoying this week's vlog honestly it has been a very chill week for me haven't been in the mood to like be on instagram a ton this week so kind of taking it a little bit easy it is wednesday if i have not already said it happy february how we are already in february i really don't know i hope you are well staying safe staying healthy yes i am wearing my target outfit outfit again because I can and it's cute I also got some Birkenstocks I have ordered these Birkenstocks three times now and I finally have found the perfect size so I'll get a little clip of me walking in them finding these were so difficult I eventually um, saw them on net-a-porter and immediately snagged them up but anyways let's go I have things to do so I will talk to you guys a little bit later wanted to quickly hop on and say happy Saturday um I am shooting this blazer at the moment just trying to create some content but be a little bit more creative and just I don't know not take I guess the normal outside picture which is totally fine but just trying to be a little bit more creative these days so anyways um I am just taking some photos of this beautiful 
Frankie Shop blazer that I've honestly had for maybe like two months. I definitely ordered this, if not before Christmas, like right around Christmas. And I haven't worn it yet, but it's a beautiful blazer. It's obviously very much so um, a dupe, or I wouldn't even say it's a dupe. It's just very similar to the Balenciaga Hourglass blazer, which I honestly feel like I have been trying to get my hands on that blazer or coat for maybe almost two years now. So in the interim, I decided to order this super beautiful, very well made blazer from the Frankie shop. And you guys, it's really good. I wanna say this was $300 and that's pretty much a steal compared to the Balenciaga one. I highly recommend this. I know that it also comes in black, but I decided to order this really nice khaki camel color. And one thing I can say about the Frankie shop is though I do feel like some of their things can be a bit overpriced for what it is, especially if you can find it elsewhere, their things are made really well. I have not had one thing that I purchased from the Frankie shop, whether I got it directly from them or by way of like Net-A-Porter. Everything is made really well, you guys, even down to those like strong shoulder t-shirts that I have. I have a couple of them and they're made really well. So I thought that that was a really good price and yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys in motion. And I just actually have on some Zara little shorts. Um, So not in my panties, you guys. Um, But yeah, anyways, I am gonna finish shooting this look. Also, I'm wearing these Gucci sunglasses. I just got these in the mail maybe like a couple days ago. I feel like I have been looking for a pair of oversized yellow aviator glasses, sunglasses, whatever you wanna call them, for the better part of like three years. I've ordered like super cheap ones. I've ordered like designer versions and I had never really found the right pair that wasn't too expensive but that also wasn't super cheap i actually was on nordstrom rack the other night which i'm not really a big nordstrom rack shopper but every now and again they do have some cute little pieces and i was just looking through gucci sunglasses and i came across these and decided to order them they were 180 dollars, and i want to say they retail for like 350 or 400 so i thought this was a great deal and they're the perfect oversized shape hopefully you can kind of get a better idea they're the perfect oversized shape i feel like some of the ones that i ordered in the past were either like too big or just not big enough so i think these fall right in the middle and they are also with gold hardware which is a plus i knew i wanted gold hardware so anyways frankie shop blazer gucci sunglasses and zara shorts i am going to finish shooting this so i can walk my dog get changed or get changed, walk the dog, and then go grocery shopping. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later.